Hello everybody. Welcome to the adventures of the town electrician. Uh, you know this oil spill now in the Gulf is really turning into a disaster and it's even more of a disaster when the Republican senator from Alaska votes no to increasing the liability that British Petroleum and the rest of these oil companies have to pay when they spill. You know I don't know what you Republicans or you teabaggers or you conservatives, whatever you want to call yourself, I don't know what you think, but I know that what you call big government, I call big democracy. And the biggest threat to America is not a big government, but are these big corporations. We've just let British Petroleum ruin a large portion of our seafood supply. And what this big democracy needs to do is we need to seize British Petroleum's bank accounts, and take the company over, and fire all the CEOs and the board of directors, and we'll keep the people working, and the big democracy will pump the oil, and we'll put all that money into our public treasury to pay for all this. And if and when it's ever cleaned up and the people are properly compensated, we'll sell the company off to another oil company and put that money in the public treasury also. And you know, this Transocean company, you know, they fly the American flag on their rig and come to find out they're headquartered in Zug, Switzerland, just so they can get away without paying their fair share of taxes. So we've got a mess on our hands, America. We gotta clean it up. And we, we need to remember too about the Chernobyl nuclear disaster in Russia or in the Soviet Union at the time. And you know, you may pontificate and say, oh, Ronald Reagan brought down the Soviet Union. But on the contrary, you know, Russia was ignoring its people, spending all their money on arms, and they were under a lot of stress. Then Chernobyl blew up and down went the Soviet Union. So I hope not, but this could be the same thing for us. This is such a big disaster. So people, we got to rein in these corporations that are un-American and are actually the enemies of our big democracy. Okay, from border to border, adios.